Hi everybody, Francine here from Devoted Danes. It's a beautiful day today. It's going to be, I think, in the 90s. And last week it was in the 50s. So you can just imagine what it does to us northerners up here in New Hampshire. It's like a heat wave. So I got all my guys inside. Uh, blinds drawn and AC's on for them. Our dogs are not... I mean, some of them are from the south, but they are not used to the heat. So our northern dogs take short trips outside and then spend most of the time on the in the AC. It's just too much. We don't want heat exhaustion. They're not used to this kind of weather, especially from going from 50 last week to 90s today. Um, so it's, it's going to be a scorcher for us. So we've had an uh, uneventful week, pretty much. We did... Um, we do our license. We are licensed breeder here in New Hampshire for any of you that don't know. And what that in details is being licensed through the USDA, the United, you know, US Department of Agriculture. So they come and they do unannounced inspections every year. So um, in New Hampshire, if you produce over 25 puppies, you are supposed to be licensed. Um, we haven't produced over 25 puppies in years. <laughs> but we'd like to keep the licensing just in case we do. And it's easier just to update it and renew it than it is to redo it and you know let it lapse. So um, we send in our application. Um, we've been licensed for a few years now and um, we, like, we like when they come out and they give us pointers or suggestions. It's always nice. And we are, all of our dogs are AKC registered too. So if I've said before, we've had them out here in the past too. Um, I noticed AKC is more if you have, the last time they came out is we had three litters. One litter was Kayla's and two were mine. So um, yeah, that was the first and only time that we've had that many puppies. It was, it was chaotic, but it was really fun too. I miss having puppies. Um, being for Lexi Lou. Lexi is not an every six month kind of gal for heat, but she is coming up on like what she normally goes for spa uh, space, uh, usually eight or nine months. So she's coming up on that point. So she should be getting there soon. Um, and then this last week we had Farley had his big five birthday. Um, Farley and his brother Zeklin were the only two in the litter. They were from Fiona and Frank. As you know, or if you might not know, Frank, we lost him last year. Um, he was a good old boy, so we have Farley. So I wanted to spend the day with Farley, and we did. We took a day. I mean, his birthday was during the week, but I had to wait till we had our day off. So we spent the day together, and it gives him, um, he likes it too, because he gets out, he meets people, he's super friendly. All of our males are pretty friendly. Some of the girls are the ones that you got to watch out for like Ebby's friendly if she knows you're within the family well if you're not she knows that too um, but uh, yeah that's just the way it is so I took Farley out for a few stops we were busy that's how my days off are they're pretty much full of errands so he didn't mind because he got to come into a few stores and I like, you know, Pete, he's just a great boy. He's one to be shared with the public. So uh, we had a good time and our kids are getting older. They're about a month now. We have a couple homes. I probably could post them and find homes super easy. I will do that, but they are super sweet. I enjoy having them here, even though uh, this hopefully will be our last litter because I plan on getting Miss Peaches Spade. She's been very good about coming to me lately, so I think I have ground to be able to get her and bring her in. Um, we will be having a huge surprise for you guys coming up within the next week or two. Um, we're not having puppies, so we decided this would probably be a good time for some other things to happen. So uh, stay tuned for that. It will either be next week or the week after when I, when I tell you guys about that. Um, so yeah. Just been busy enjoying the weather, enjoying, I've been um, hatching out a lot of birds. You guys know I got it like, like hatching out critters, so that's what I've been doing too. Um, uh, the heat is already like getting hot and I'm in the shade. I actually have my contacts in today because to put 
glasses on when it's this hot it gives me like and then I got poison ivy because we live out in the woods and I get poison ivy every year so that's another fun thing uh, yeah so that's the update this week nothing really much happening just a Farley's birthday and brother Zeklin and we will be having a pretty big surprise in a week or two here so stay tuned and I hope you guys have a good week and stay out of the heat and if you're not subscribed to the channel you should because normally we do have puppies on here um, this is kind of a I think the longest time between puppies we've had so we're kind of trying to get other things done we have some remodeling that we're finally finishing that after two years of in progress so we're getting that done motorcycle um, I'm enjoying my gardening and I'm hatching out a lot of birds to add to our flock so and then we still are working on getting our land cleared for our outside enclosures and then one day I'd love to have like an outside kennel so if during the day they just all want to stay outside they have a place to go in where it's cool but those are all like future projects we have a lot of future things going on and some big projects in the works here not all necessarily um, just for the Danes but just for the whole homestead in general so you guys have a good week bye now bye puppy come on let's go Ooh. are you a happy boy yes you is going with mama for the day it's your birthday so we're headed into far hey tractor supply to pick up some supplies Farley's gonna spend the day with me he's the birthday boy he's busy looking out his window right now ha, papa oh, he had some he's excited aren't you a lucky guy we just went to the Dunkin Donuts drive-thru he got a donut we went to tractor supply he got a jerky treat there's perks of being the big guy on the block Baba, waiting for mama we had to get some stuff at the vets yep pick up some stuff next stop yep we're on to our next going into home depot let's go let's go check some stuff out Are you cooling off any huh? he's having fun checking things out letting people pet him huh Baba? come on let's go Let's go. You coming? <laughs> so now, just busy watching everybody outside. So now we're at our last visit for our Walmart pickup order. He's met so many friends. He's really friendly, so. He's almost like Diesel, hasn't met anybody he doesn't like. So he got lots of pets, lots of treats, but I like to spend one-on-one -on -one time with him. Plus it's his birthday week. He's having a good time. It is 87. It wasn't this hot when we started out, but um, we are in AC. I have the window down though, because he's enjoying watching everybody outside. You know, it makes his day. He's just watching everybody. But if he gets hot, he can put his head in. We're just waiting for it. Walmart pickup order, and then that's all our stuff. It's our full day of errands. So this is what we do on our day off. Not far. <laughs> These are our baby geese, they're already big. These are both baby geese that we hatched here. So pretty. So pretty.
Here's the babies. Look at them. Sleeping in here, but they have keep they have been going around the garage and eating with mummy. But I think we're still looking for some homes. We do have some homes for a couple of them. Look at those faces. He's heading out. So these are all girls in the basket. Your mummy's out playing and you guys are in here. What are you doing under there, huh, little man? You playing? Is it hot out today, girls? Yeah, no sense of risking going out in that heat, huh, chubby? You're a crazy cat, aren't you?